ruthless cutthroat people is what every single one of us should be towards these narcissists. And I'm not lying. We don't got to be ruthless cutthroat people to each other, to regular people, to people who are fair game. They're not going to do nothing to, to do you wrong, to do you dirty. They're fair game. It doesn't, they could be having a bad day. They're still not going to take things out on you. They're still not going to want to abuse you or disrespect you in any way. That's what a real motherfucker is, bro. I could have felt my worst. I could have felt like the worst day of my life and I remember it. I would have not have done nothing to nobody. Literally. And I haven't. These entitled little kids <clears throat> that are full grown adults nowadays running around. They can be having the best day of their life and they'll still take things out on you. They'll still do dirty things to you because that's how far behind they are in life. They're so bitter. They're so stuck in their little sissy ways. They will literally do anything. And the most hilarious thing is is killing these individuals with kindness. Being a laughy, jokey person around them, you're vibing, your mind's right, you're just, you're a positive person going around in life. And wh whenever you come in their presence, they're just gonna look at you and, they're just gonna look at you in disgust. They're just gonna look at you walking by, they're just gonna look at you like that, bro. It's like those, man, I've literally laughed in people's faces before. Whenever I was being happy in the moment, out and about doing whatever I'm doing at the gym or whatever, and they want to look at me, I might be dressed nice, I might be wearing some expensive clothes, I might be looking fresh, I might be looking fit, I might be looking happy in the right state of mind, and these individuals, bro, they're just going to look at you just disgusted. I literally, I kid you not, laughed in their face. Laughed in their face, because I couldn't help it. It's not like I just like, oh, lot. no, I just, my, my, my automatic response, it literally took the laugh out of me. I didn't want to like throw things in their face. I literally just laughed and it pissed them off even more. And it's hilarious, bro. When these things happen to these people, I can get such good reads on people, man, where I can almost tell what they're thinking. I can almost tell what they're doing. Not almost, I can. And I just can't, man, I can't respect people like that, bro. I can't. I can't. Because if you're going to be a little bitch like that, how am I going to respect you? You can't even be a man. You can't even be a solid woman. There's, I, I got girl haters and guy haters, bro. We all do. I got, I got a fair amount of both. And they just can't stand to see you for what you really are. That's why they're so mad. And when you kill them with kindness, it's the best thing you can do. Just keep being kind. Keep being laughy and giggly and, and moving around and doing whatever you're doing. Do not let them slow your roll. Just keep being who you are. It eats them alive. You deserve it. You deserve it. You want to you want to mean mug me and shit like that, bro. You deserve that. And they can't stand it, cause they're in such deep dark places in their own life. I don't care where you're at in life. There's no excuse to just go around envying people. You're so focused on people, cause you're a bitch. You can't focus on your own fucking life, cause you're a bitch. You're a bitch. Like I never, man. The least thing I'm worried about is other people when I was going through the toughest times of my life. I'm literally so focused on my own life, getting my information, doing my things, learning, growing, doing all the right things. I'm not going around looking at people that's almost got their degrees and all this stuff and just me mugging them. What are you doing, you dumbass? That's what these people do. They always want to be involved. They always want to be the right nosy. What are you doing? Where do you work? Where do you drive? Blah, blah, blah. What the fuck do you drive? Who the fuck are you and what are you doing and why are you looking at me like this? Is a question you need to ask yourself before I backhand you in the snout. The fuck are you doing? Now you sit down and you behave.
They're wild. They're, they're fucking wild animals, bro. Filthy animals, I should say. <clears throat> the things they do, the, the, pe the people they are, it just makes zero sense. They make zero sense as an individual. Like, focus on your life. Stop getting mad at what other people are doing. Stop getting mad because other people are putting in work that you're not willing to put in. Being jealous and envious of people and like literally buying into it and, and being so consumed in it. Watching someone's life on social media like a magnifying glass. Just trying to, ugh, and they're just so mad. You're a bitch. You're the biggest loser I've ever seen in my life. There's many people in the world that's down and out that's not doing shit like that. The best thing you can do when you're down and out. The best thing you can do when you're just down, you're not at your highest point in life, is to just focus on yourself. Calm yourself down. Take day, take every single day, one day at a time. Learn as much as you can learn. Do as much as you can do. Try to come to a clear state of mind. Try to make rational decisions. Try to make logical decisions. That is in your best interest. Instead of just focused on someone else's life, because I guarantee you they busted their balls to get to the position they're in. They went through a lot of hurt. They went through a lot of pain. They went through a lot of suffering and sacrifice to get to their position. I just can't relate to these to these idiots, man. They're entitled. And you know what else? They think things are easier than it actually is. They think you've done things a lot easier than you've actually done them. Because they're delusional. They actually don't get life. They actually don't get how things actually are. They don't get how hard things are, man. They think just because it's you, things come so easy when no. No, nothing comes easy to anybody. There's always hell of sacrifice. And sometimes they even know this and just hate the fact how tough you are, how resilient you are, and how resilient they are not. They gotta toughen up. But no, they can't. And they wanna envy you. They wanna say negative things to you. There's people every now and then that come on this channel that wanna say negative things. And it literally makes me laugh because I know how much of a loser you actually are. I'm a straight up person. I say things on this channel here and there that's gonna make people unsubscribe. So be it, you're not wanted here. You can't handle the fucking truth because you're a little bitch. And that is the truth. So what? I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna, yeah, coddle everybody on this channel. Yeah, guys, come in. No. We say it like it is. We're here to do better. We're here to be better. We're here for more understanding. We're here to do better in life in general, in every way, shape, and form. We're here to be better people. We're here to understand. The main thing I do on this channel is bring ultimate awareness to a lot of things. And I, I know for a fact, a huge part of life is dealing with a lot of negative things and then coming out on top of those things. That's where the success is. So I can bring people where I used to be from the bottom to the top. It's how it goes. No one's born at the top. The top of the mountain, is everybody there? No, not everybody's there. But if we can bring more understanding and awareness to the world, tell people like it really is and not coddle everybody, yeah, it's all right, bro, just keep, keep trying, bro. Keep trying. Yeah, you're doing great. Maybe you're not doing great. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe you never had no one to push you in life. We don't know. But the main objective is to bring people from their lowest points to their highest highs. And I've done it many times. I've talked with many people that's what was in the worst situations ever. Now they're balling. The power of things is very, very, very real. I was at my bottoms of bottoms. I started to pay attention to people who, who went from the bottoms of bottoms the highest heights. Look at all the successful people's backstories. Some of these people were homeless. Some of these people, 
their parents abused them, whatever. They came from the bottomless bottoms to the highest highs. Whoop, to the fucking top. You can do anything. Awareness in this world is very important. Awareness is better than humbleness. Awareness is everything. If you're not aware, <clears throat> you can't really do shit. You gotta be awakened to this world. That's what awareness is. It's being awakened to the world. A lot of people are not awakened to this world. A lot of people only see things from, from their hometown. They're not seeing the bigger picture of the world. They're not seeing other people in the world. They're not seeing other people speak in this world. I am a big fish in a pond where I come from. There's not a lot of people like me. People might have similarities. I might be fit. Someone else might be fit. Congratulations. We're both fit. But we're still very different. And I know for a fact there's not a lot of people where I come from like me. In fact, I don't know anybody that's exactly like me. You guys might find me a unique person. I find other people in the world unique as well. That's why it's important. That's why social media is so good. And it doesn't have to be negative. Obviously, there's negative things on social media. We all know that, but... You get to pick and choose what you pay attention to. You guys get to pick and choose whether you want to watch this channel or not, or other people's channels or not. I get to pick and choose if I want to watch someone else's channel or not, or watch whatever I want whenever I want. Everyone learns all the time. There's, there's things to learn from everywhere. That's why social media is so awesome. I don't even really consider YouTube or this stuff social media. It's kind of real life to me. It's not a real, real life, but it's, it's as close as you're going to get it as far as social media. It just, it, it'd be the same thing if you were in my presence right now. You're sitting in front of me as the camera. I just so happen to be able to co communicate with all of you guys from across the world. And it's, a, it's an amazing thing. This stuff never existed in the past. My generation and, and below is so much, and even some people that's a little bit older than me, the reason why we're, like some, I see so many comments, you're so wise, you're so smart for your age, oh my God, I wish I was as smart as you at your age. Reason being, it's not that I'm just so smarter. The reason being is because people that's 40 right now, people that's 50, 60, they did not have what I had at my age. Same as the people that are younger. There's gonna be people that's younger that's gonna come in probably a little bit smarter than me in the future. Not saying, uh, obviously there is 15, 16 year olds in the world right now that's probably smarter than me, 100%. There's probably some, 100%. But by the time they get to my age, and by the time, let's say I'm in my 30s, they'll be freaking geniuses, bro. It's the amount of information that's that's being put out there today. It wasn't that long that we had what we have right now. It's a beautiful thing that we have this. We can communicate with whoever we want across the world. People who don't have a lot of friends where they come from. You have more friends than you think. Because things like this exist. We get to see so many people from across the world. We could DM a celebrity right now and they could reply. You never know. Not saying they will. You never know. We have access to so many things. And I think it's amazing. Some people think it made the world worse. I don't, I don't see it that way. I do not. As far as dating, there's pros and cons to social media. But I, I don't want to start getting into all this stuff. It could be another topic on another day, but... I see more, way more positives than negatives when it comes to stuff like this, social media. I wouldn't be who I am today if, if stuff like this did not exist. I would not be who I am today if I could not have saw as many creators on YouTube as I've come across in my lifetime. Not even close. We'd have a small perspective of where we, of where we come from. In a tiny perspective, every now and then, if we ever took a trip across the world to a different place, we'd see different things, obviously, but there's so many people from, from different places that we have different perspectives and, and hear other people talk and all that stuff. There's so many podcasts. There's so many things. There's so many shows. There's so many channels. 
You guys get what I'm saying? It made the world, it made people a lot smarter. A hundred percent. And there are people that exist with what I was getting to that don't even get any of that information. They're stuck in their hometown. They don't watch nothing. They don't, they, they don't, they're not getting information that they can get for free. You guys are getting this information for free. YouTube is free. There's no complaining here. Like what? It, I don't even know, things might change. That YouTube, you never know what's gonna happen. YouTube could have different changes. You might have to start, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna happen, but you might have to start sub or paying to subscribe to someone's channel. They already have it right now with, with, the, with the Patreons, but you might literally have to start paying a small little bit of money every month to subscribe to somebody's channel. Who knows what's gonna happen? Netflix, you have to subscribe and pay a certain fee every month. I don't have Netflix. I don't watch movies. I used to do that when I was young. I think movies today are lame as fuck. There's like the odd one that might come out that looks decent. The odd one. I think movies in the past was much better. I watched a lot of movies in my life. I just don't watch them no more. Why would I do that when there's so much good information out there today that we can get every single day? from so many creators. YouTube is freaking amazing. The best platform in the world, and it's not close. It's not even close. YouTube is the alpha omega, the best. The best. And it's free. It's free. You gotta pay to watch a movie, bro. You literally gotta pay to watch a movie. You don't gotta pay nothing to watch this. You don't, you don't gotta pay nothing to watch other podcasts, to watch other creators. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. <clears throat> Sometimes we forget how good we have it in this world. A lot of people do. That's why I don't understand a lot of these small-minded people that might come from the same place as you that just had this, has this terrible perspective on life because they're not seeing any of the right stuff. Ever. Surrounded by idiots all the time thinking that that's, this is what life is. No, that's not what life is. I don't even get around that many people where I come from, very few. And they're all down to earth. They're all aware, they're all smart. They're all successful to a degree. We, are, we all have awareness, ultimate awareness. That's, that's my kind of people, bro. Even on YouTube, the people, the people I'll pay attention to. Their awareness is sky high. Their IQ, up here. That's who we want to deal with. Not idiots. Not people that think they're smart and they're stupid as hell. Thinking they can fool you. Thinking they can do all these things. Mean mugging you. All these things. Bro, you're not smart. You're actually stupid as hell. Like, are you kidding me? You're so mad right now. You're so mad. Here's all man. Da -da -da. Da -da. Tickle their tummy. Da -da. Bro, you're so mad. But that's who they are. That's who they're probably always going to be. They're going to be that angry 40, 50 some year old person. That's just mean mugging everybody. Uh, uh, uh. Relax. Relax. Please learn something. You know what I mean? So anyways, guys. <clears throat> kill these people's kindness. Kill them. Because it does. They low-key like it. As sick as it may sound. They low-key like that. But it pisses them off. And I've made people that looked mad at me at one time actually smile. And it's actually like a hundred times funnier when that happens. Some of these people do need a little bit of happiness, a little bit of spark in their life. I'm very passionate on these videos. You guys see a pretty serious version of me here, but I can be, man, I'm one of the most laughable, likable people like that, funniest persons ever, like me and the people I get around. We're all like that, bro. But you gotta be passionate here. I, I, it's just, I need to explain things to a T, which is why it is the way it is. And I wouldn't want it to, I wouldn't want it to be any other way. In the future, you might see 
some different videos, some different stuff, but this stuff will always remain. The channel's only gonna get better. We're only gonna get better. I'm only going to inspire you guys more and more and more and take you guys on this journey. I'll see you at the top.